Nutty Sports Gamer here. On this episode of the 40 Year Sim, we are going to be covering the NBA from the beginning of December to the end of January, the 2005 season, smack dab in the middle of the 2000s is where we are at and we'll be checking out some of the top teams in the East and the West, some games where they're facing each other, some hot Western Conference action, Eastern Conference action. It's going to be awesome. Let's get right into it. Here's an interconference matchup for you. Hawks, Clippers, Allen Iverson making a layup. Got Iverson versus Penny Hardaway. Chris Webber versus Tim Duncan. Larry Hughes missing a shot. Eaton Thomas with the basket there for the Clips. It's 93-91. Clippers are interested in this season as Iverson makes a layup. Clippers without Vladi Divac. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust to not having him on the squad. Chris Webber with the dunk right there for the Clippers. 97-93 now. Two and a half minutes left to go. Chauncey Phillips to Tim Duncan. He's going to make the shot. Cut the deficit to two. Then he ties the game there with a bucket in the fast break. 105 left to go. Paige Stoyakovich holding the ball. Shot clock winding down. He throws up a tray. Sinks it. Not often do you see that actually go in in that situation, 2K at least. Here's a steal. Chris Weber taking the ball up court. Passing it to Penny. To Paige Stoyakovich for the alley oop. 104 97 final score. The Clippers do manage to beat the Hawks. Tim Dunk with 24. And now we're watching the Cavaliers versus the Timberwolves. It's a 90 to 89 game. 2 12 left to go. And Desmond Mason of the Wolves making a basket. One point game. Cavs still with the lead. Jermaine O'Neal gets the bucket there. And now here's Jermaine O'Neal. With the jumper, and the Wolves take a three-point lead. Jermaine O'Neal again. Another basket for him. Reggie Miller can't make a shot. Dale Davis also can't make a shot. And the Wolves with the five-point lead. Jermaine O'Neal with the icing on the cake. This game is over. 99-94. Reggie Miller with 34 points. He is... Cavaliers lost, but Reggie Miller is having an unbelievable season. Now we got Raptors, Bulls, Lorenzen Wright of the Bulls making a basket for Chicago. Mike Bibby passing to Pau Gasol for a basket. Check out the replay of Pau in action. Setting the screen, receiving the pass, making the layup. Looking too easy. 83-79. Bad shot right there. Woof. That was uh, not even close. Jason Richardson to Jay Williams for the layup. 83-81. Mike Bibby to Jamal Mashburn for three. He sinks it. Five-point game. Jay Rich. Let's see what he decides to do with the ball. Passes it to the and right. Then gets the pass for a three at the wing. Sinks it. 86-84, Mike Bibby with the tray, and the Raptors keep it a two-possession game. Austin Crozier is out there, passing it to Jay Williams, misses. But Lorenzo Wright with the rebound and dunk, 89-86, Pau Gasol to Mashburn, gets the screen, makes the jumper, 91-86. Mike Bibby to Pau Gasol with the shot over Shane Battier. And this game is over 96 86. The Raptors are good. The Raptors have a nice, solid team. The Bulls aren't too shabby themselves, but uh, it's fun to see the Raptors possibly playoff bound finally. They're the only team in the sim never to make the playoffs. So, oh, oh hey, never mind. Bobcats have it. So, the <laughs> never mind. Uh, Trace McGrady making a shot for the Rockets. They're playing the, the Clippers. T-Max on the Rockets, and he's pretty damn good. But here's a snatch. Ball gets snatched by Eaton Thomas. And now Larry Hughes at the other end with a dunk. 
109, 105, 150 left to go. Brevin Knight getting the ball. Tim Thomas to Tim to 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 and uh, got some trades already. Chucky Atkins. I think we mentioned that in the last episode, didn't we? Uh, but the big one here, Alonzo Mourning traded to the Nets for uh, Wally Zerbiak. Um, yeah. So Alonzo Mourning's out on the Nets. The Nets. We'll, 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 we'll check out the Nets, I think, in this episode. But uh, the Nets need some more front court depth. So you see a three by Stefan Marbury. 94-93. And a rebound, magic, and yeah, the, the heat getting rid of lots of morning is kind of big, but uh, they're 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 kind of doing a rebuild over there in Miami. Got a basket did by Stephen Jackson. Let's focus on this game. Twenty five seconds left to go. Reggie Miller, three point game. Passes it to Alvin Williams, who misses the three. We got a rebound. We got a foul. This game might already be over. Yes, it is. 98, 94, 29 for Reggie Miller, 22 for Grant Hill. And we are moving on. More Orlando, this time against Timberwolves. Desmond Mason, formerly of the Rockets, making a layup for Minnesota. 84, 81 now is the score. Run our test. Passing it to Scott, Chanel Scott, maybe. Steal, though. Steal, Stephen Jackson, layup. It's a five point game. Four minutes up to go. Christian Leitner making a basket for Orlando. How about a missed shot by Minnesota? Grant Hill running the court. Getting guarded. Passes to Boyce to Grant Hill. Why is Boyce out there? Uh, Christian Leitner. With the midi, he sinks it. This game is over. Final score, 98-86. Desmond Mason with 20-something. He let the Wolves with scoring. Boston-Houston. Tracy McGrady making a, or missing a jumper. I thought that was going in. 90-89, 340 left to go in this game. Jamal Tinsley to Paul Pierce with the layup. How about Paul Pierce with a great shot, but Jamal Tinsley... Is the secret sauce of the Celtics team. It's kind of crazy. T-Mac making a dunk there. 92-91. Tinsley to Odom for three. Like, the Celtics are, are a very talented team for some reason. Uh, as we see Odom with a dunk. For some reason, Tinsley just... This, like, when they had Kenny Anderson, they just weren't as good as when as, as they've been as, with Tinsley. So it's 96-94. Got a made shot there. Paul Pierce, the truth. Now we have a steal. And here's Trace McGrady pulling up for the jumper. No good, but Ben Wallace is right there for the rebound. Ben Wallace to T-Mac. T-Mac missing. Ben Wallace with the slam. It's a two-point game. Close game. 111 left to go. T-Mac driving. Throwing it up to Ben, ben Wallace for alley-oop. Paul Pierce. Tie game. Are we getting overtime? The truth is will set you free. No, we're going overtime. The truth will set you free. Uh, that would be a pretty cool line to say if he made that shot, but he didn't make the shot. He makes that shot, though. 198. It's overtime. T-Mac. Guarded by Ray Allen, who hasn't really done anything in this game. Elton Brand makes a shot. I'd like to see some Ray Allen. There's Allen passing it to Lamar Odom. He misses. Ben Wallace with the rebound. Now here's Charlie Ward. Dribbling, passing it to Tracy McGrady. Mr. T Mac with the dunk. 102 100. The Celtics, though. You know, they're not going away easily. Lamar Odom. Odom with the alley oop. Paul Pierce now is going to pass it to Jamal Tinsley. Top of the key. There's Divac, by the way, setting up a screen. 
And Tinsley's going to get blocked. Yikes. Not a great floater uh, attempt there. And now T-Mac with a five-point lead on his side. Let's see if he can uh, sink the game. No. Celtics still have a chance. Still have a chance to keep this interesting. Ray Allen to Paul Pierce. And Paul Pierce can't penetrate. Some good defense by Tim Thomas. Ray Allen finally going to pass it. Tinsley. No. And it's over. 109-105. What's up with Ray Allen? He's He's been quiet, right? He's been very quiet. What's the last time I mentioned a Ray Allen jump shot? Like, in, what's the last episode? Maybe... Maybe in the playoffs he, he made some noise last season, but here we have Antonio McDice making a, a jumper for Golden State, who are playing the Celtics. Paul Pierce with a nice basket there. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, but this is a, a new court for the Warriors as Paul Pierce makes a dunk. I, I like it. Uh, 2K didn't do this. I had to find this court because I knew the court changed in the mid-2000s, and uh, I was happy to find this court from the 2k community so i want to shout them out thank you very much for this awesome court which uh yeah pretty much exactly the same as the court in real life in 2005 so see a, a jumper there by paul pierce 196 anton jameson handling the ball passing it to jr smith for three yes jr smith rookie of the year i'm saying it right now paul pierce with the layup for the boston and a rebound for Boston. Mar Odom going all the way, making the layup. 105.99. Boston kind of feels like they're pulling away. Joan Howard can't make the shot. Six point game still. Could be more. Lamar Odom with the uh, alley oop. And this game is over 111 103. And yeah, 45 points for Jason Kidd. Uh, was it 21 for Paul Pierce? But, but Ray Allen, at least when we jump into games, he doesn't really do anything. What's going on there? Dirk with the basket. We're watching the Bucks versus the Bulls. Austin Crozier misses a shot. Shane Battier makes it after getting the rebound. We got Ginobili out there. Pulling up for the jumper. No good. Dirk with the rebound and the putback. Tie game. Three and a half left to go. Manu. Can't hit. Bulls with the rebound. Jason Richardson. Love me some Jason Richardson, especially in this sim. He's really, I really, I really like seeing his game uh, play out in the sim. You know, this is Shane Batty with a, a long two, and Dunleavy can't make that shot. And it's 95-93. Jay Williams handling the ball. He passes Jason Richardson, who can't make the three. Zebo with the putback. Nice to see Zebo coming along, too. It's, it hasn't been a quick, meteoric rise, but he's coming along. He really is coming along. Nice rebound by him, right? And I really like I really like him on the Bulls. Number 50 with the headband. It's kind of cool. Battier to Zebo. Yes! He sinks the baseline jumper. I can get used to Zebo on the Bulls. That game's over, by the way. I guess the game is, I don't know what the final score was, but it's over. Let's move on to Celtics Lakers. I don't know what that was all about. Wesley, David Wesley, who misses that shot. Shaq gets the rebound and dunk. It's 112, 111 now, 2, 11 left to go. I wonder what I what I did wrong there with that previous game. Alley oop, Lauren Odom. I don't know if, there was, if I just failed to capture the box score or what, but I don't know. Oh, well. Carlos Williamson with a layup there for the Lakers. 115, 114, 106 left to go. Paul Pierce with the jumper. It's a one point game for the Celtics. O'Neal with the basket. 117, 116. Steal for the Lakers. That is David Wesley making a layup. And this game is over an hour getting a box score. 123, 118 is the final score there. And once again, Ray Allen, Ray Allen ain't doing squat, but I'll stop focusing on that because it's just, you know, what are you going to do? Lamar Odom, though, nice shot of him from the back. I don't know if that's really a good usable 
thumbnail. Meh, we'll see. I'll see if that ends up being something I use. Let's check out the standing. It's January 1st. The Pistons are in first place, 24 and 5. Oh, we can check out some of their games in this video. Um, I guess they haven't been had. I, I guess they haven't had many jump worthy games. I don't know. Celtics are in second place. You got the Sixers. You got the Bulls. The Magic, 18 11 with, with Stefan Marbury and Grant Hill. Nice to see them um, doing well. And you get the Raptors, 16 and 14. Can they hold? Can they stay in the playoff picture? Got the Nets, 16 and 16. Uh, they won three in a row. So they, they were struggling before Alonzo Morning. Now they're starting to get things on the right track. The Bucks are an eight seed right now. The, the Hawks are a nine seed. Cavs, Pacers, Heat, Wizards, Bobcats, Knicks. Way at the bottom there. Checking out the West. The Blazers are 26 and 7. They have the one, the one seed. If you don't recall, they have uh, Demon Sotomayor, Rip Hamilton, Sharifa Durahim, Rashid Wallace, and Birdman, Chris Anderson. As they're starting five, so it's interesting to see how they're 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 really having a great season this year. The Rockets, Warriors, Grizzlies, uh, top four. The Kings are way at the bottom. The Hornets too. They're disappointing. The Suns have been disappointing too. Maybe Chris Bosh and Dwight Howard doesn't quite work in the front court. Uh, but that's the standings for the East and West. We'll check them out again later in the episode. Jason Kidd and Reggie Miller having crazy seasons, averaging over 35 points per game. Uh, T Mac as well um, is averaging like I think 34.1. Then you got Duncan and Carmelo and Stephon Marbury and Desmond Mason. Desmond Mason, wow, he's even he's having a great season. Dirk, Shaq, of course. Shaq leading the league in rebounds. Jason Kidd leading the league in assists. Jason Kidd, Jason Kidd, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I, what has gotten into him? All-star voting. Trace McGrady is leading the Western Conference backcourt in votes. Jason Kidd is, is second place. Get Shaq in first place in the front court. For as far as voting is concerned, Reggie Miller having an unbelievable season. There's no surprise there that he's first. Tim Duncan first in the front court. So yeah, yeah. Reggie Miller, 38 years old, unbelievable numbers. More trades. Michael Williams. Uh, traded to the Warriors for Doug Overton. Get Smocky Walker. Traded to the Timberwolves for Eddie Griffin. And Greg Ostertag and Cedric Sabalo traded to the Timberwolves for um, role players, second round picks. So the Timberwolves trying to solidify their bench. And also the Warriors add Michael Williams as a backup point guard because Jason Kidd desperately needs a backup point. So that's where we're at with the trades. Let's check out this game Magic Celtics. Grant Hill to Marbury, who loses the ball. And now we have Ray Allen missing. Damn it. Lamar Odom with the basket, 80 to 79. I got excited for a second, but uh, he missed a shot. Oh, well. Stephon Marbury with the jumper, 82 79. Two minutes left to go. Christian Leitner in the post. Making this shot over Jamal Tindley. That was nice. Nice shot by Leitner. How about Paul Pierce, the truth? Missing. Magic holding on to a five-point lead. And we, we saw in the standings, they're a pretty good team. And seeing them in action, you can kind of see they have a nice balance of, uh, of players here. Leitner working the post. Making the dunk. Yeah. The Magic, uh, magic look good. Even though you would, you know, you might have been worried with T Mac leaving that they that they might uh, fall down a cliff, but Stephon Marbury has kept them afloat, and Grant Hill, of course, is solid as usual. So, uh, yeah, they've they've been pretty good, and Steve, Steven Jackson also becoming a starter, I think, has really helped them a lot, helped them out a lot. Now that we're seeing the Magic face the Bulls, Grant Hill with a three. It's ninety-two eighty-five now. Steven Jackson, let's see what he what he's up to. He's going to make a long two. Nice to see that. Nine-point game for the uh, Orlando Magic. Marbury to Grant Hill. He gets the screen for P.J. Brown. Also a, a quietly a big pickup over the offseason as uh, Grant Hill makes a jumper. 96-85. Runs in right to Jay Williams. Now here's Zebo going to work in the post. Turns around, misses. Grant Hill with the rebound. The Magic 
135 left to go. Grant Hill. To Leitner for three? Yes, Leitner making threes. I guess he's added that to his game in his in his late career. Nice to see. 105 to 90 is the final score there. Magic win. Now let's check out the Warriors now against the Hawks. Jason Kidd passing it to Williams. Michael Williams for three. I think that was Michael Williams. Yeah, I think it is. And there is Jason Kidd missing the three. Rebound Hawks. Iverson with the ball. 447 left to go. Isaac Austin to Tim Duncan. He's going to make a shot. Make it a two-point game. How about uh, Jameis with the dunk? Duncan fires back with a miss. McDice with the rebound. Now here's Anton Jameson to Michael Williams. Michael Williams is like 37, 38 years old, and he's still, still kicking it. Now we got Antonio McDice missing. And Allen Iverson at the wing, passing to Chauncey Billups with three minutes left to go. Iverson receives the pass, misses. But Isaac Austin's right there for the rebound and basket. J.R. Smith. Passing it to McDice for the baseline. J. That won't go in. But uh, Juwan Howard with the dunk. 94 and 90. Two minutes left to go. Jamison to Jer Smith. No. Not going to go in. Two minutes left. Where is Jason Kidd? Why isn't he out there? Allen Iverson with the dunk. 94 and 92. 155 left to go. Michael Williams. Old man Michael Williams passing it to McDice for the dunk. It's a four point game. Do the Hawks have any life in them in this game? Allen Iverson does. Makes a shot there. Clutch as usual. We got Michael Williams to enter to McDice. He makes that shot. 98 94. 122. Left to go. Bruce Bell with the dunk. It's a two point game. Now the Hawks with the ball. Minute left. Iverson with the layup. Tying the game. And now they have the lead. McDice. Not nice. Iverson. And the Hawks. Check out Iverson with the dunk in the fast freaking break. Three point game. Michael Williams. Where is Jason Kidd, by the way? Like, why isn't he out there? He must have fouled out. Which sucks, but. What can you do? Jamison misses. Ah, I, I hate them. 2K in the foul outs. You could only there's only so much you could do with that. I mean, I've I've turned down the tendencies, the foul tendencies and stuff like that. It's really dumb to see Jason Kidd not out there. Uh, he only played 28 minutes. He definitely fouled out. Sucks. Oh well. I hate that I don't find these things out until way later. Because sometimes you know I, I've told, I, I've said before. Uh, you know, I sometimes capture and I'm not really paying attention because I'm, I'm doing my job, my day job. Boston, Milwaukee, though. Here's a replay of Paul Pierce making this basket. It's a 96-94 game. Jason Terry dribbling it around the perimeter. Getting past Tinsley for the layup. Now it's tied at 96. Paul Pierce guarded by Luau Dang. He's a good defender, but Paul Pierce... Still makes the shot, and Luel Deng is still pretty damn young. He is a rookie. Uh, Chucky Atkins to Jason Terry. Interesting to see both guards out there. Dirk for three. No. Tyson Chandler, though. He's going to slam that. Ty game at 98. Terry for three. No. Not going in. Lamar Odom to Tinsley. Tinsley for three. No. Lamar Odom makes a basket, though. 198. Here's Jason Terry receiving the pass. And uh, Dirk with the screen. Dirk gets the pass. Dirk makes the three. A big three. 
to put the Bucks ahead. And Jason Terry is going to miss. The Celtics have a chance to win this game right here, right now. Jamal Tinsley with seven, six, five left to go. Tinsley to Mlarodum to Brian Grant. No! What a clutch block by Tyson Chandler. And the Bucks go on to beat Boston 101-100. Dirk and his flowing hair. I've missed that for the sim. I'm so glad I fixed that for this. Here's the Nets versus the Sixers. Now we're going to be able to see Alonzo Mourning uh, on the Nets for a little bit. Although I don't see him out there right now, which is not great. 86-84 is the score. Randy Woods is going to make that three for New Jersey. 89-86, or 88, I should say. Sean Kemp to Eddie Jones to Glenn Robinson. Back to Kemp. And Kemp is going to make the shot. There's Alonzo Mourning, by the way. And there's Steve Nash. And there's Amari Stoudemire with an alley-oop. 91-90. 110 left to go. Big Dog Robinson for three. It's 92-91. We got Fashawn Leonard to Amari Stoudemire. Can't make that fadeaway jumper. Ball goes out of bounds. Sixers ball. There's a basket by Big Dog. 94-91. Did uh, Steve Nash step out of bounds? I think he did. Damn it, dude. Sean Kemp, meanwhile, makes a basket for Philly. And that might do it. 98-91. Final score there. Check out the box score. 30 for Mario Stoudemire. 27-14 for Sean Kemp. We got more trades, folks. Still Davis and Elton Cam Elton Campbell and Pargo go to the Nuggets for Reggie Evans, Steve Smith, Mario Moon, and a lottery took the first. The Nuggets traded Elmore Spencer and Bobby Simmons and a second round pick for Kendall Gill and Mike James. So Nuggets solidifying their 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 bench and, and their front court to make a playoff run. Yinka Dare got traded away from the the Nuggets to the Kings for Vitali, Vitali Potapenko. And I did that to just clear up the the rotation for the Nuggets because they had too many centers. Yeah, they say they, you see they had um, Elmer Spencer, Yukadari, and Del Davis at one point. So and Eld Eldon Campbell. So they, they had four they had four centers at one point, and so I wanted to make sure that uh, they weren't overloaded with centers. So made that fix. Then here's a big one. Here's a big one. Lakers traded David Wesley, Brian Russell, Sean Livingston, Adonis Foyle. Uh, for, oh crap, Antoine Walker and Kenny Anderson. That's basically the trade. Uh, and they give a uh, first round pick for this deal. So Antoine Walker and Kenny Anderson are now on the Lakers. That is big news. I think Jason Hart is no longer on the, on the Lakers now. There's a couple of guys no longer. I think I just said that. I already said them, right? What, what, what am I talking about? Anyway, let me move on. Kenny Anderson makes the three for uh, the Lakers, 99-96 is the score Kobe Bryant with the missed shot Marcus Camby with the rebound and foul 101-98 didn't get to, get to see much there uh, but yeah Sixers win Lakers are struggling they're trying to you know get back to the thick of things in the playoff race back to uh, here's another matchup with uh, the Magic and the Celtics 93-91 is the score Steven Jackson is gonna make this shot for Orlando. Here's a steal. Here's Grant Hill spinning, making the basket. Six point game. Three and a half left to go. Jamal Tinsley to Lamar Odom. Can't make that three, but Brian Grant is there for the putback. It's a four point game. Tinsley to Paul Pierce. Makes a shot. Check out the replay. Looks nice. Grant Hill. Guarded by Pierce. That's an interesting matchup. Steven Jackson. Guarded by Ray Allen. Marbury for three. That's good. 195. One and a half minutes up to go. Ray Allen to Lamar Odom. Jab stepping. Spinning. Pump faking. And making the basket over 
Stefan Marbury. And here's the magic. Can they answer back? P.J. Brown does just that. Five-point game. The Celtics running out of options here. Paul Pierce for three. No. Rebound magic. And this is feeling like uh, magic might be able to seal this game. Let's see. Marbury to P.J. Brown. Back to Marbury. Steven Jackson for the dagger. That'll do it. The magic are good. The magic are good. It's fun to watch. I like I like this team. I hope they do something in the playoffs. Cause Marbury is playing great. Steven Jackson's playing great. Yeah, I love this team. Uh we've made it to All Star Break already. Wow. Uh Sixers are in first place, thirty two and nine. The Pistons who we didn't get to see. We'll see them in the next episode or the next proper episode. Next episode is All Star Break. We'll see them in the end in the wrapping up the season episode, which will be after the All Star Break episode. But uh, yeah, the Sixers are doing. They're in first place with uh, Sean Kemp and Nick Van Exel and Big Dog Robinson. But the Pistons, thirty-three and eleven. Celtics, thirty-one and fourteen. They're three games back from the Sixers. Got the Magic, twenty-seven, fourteen. They're doing good. I, th I just realized the Sixers won ten in a row. Wow, Sixers are hot right now. Raptors are five seed right now. So they're, it's feeling like the Raptors should be able to make the playoffs. Feels like they should finally be able to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Got the Bulls, the Nets, the uh, the Bucks, the Hawks. Kind of just what are, what are the Hawks doing? Right, twenty and twenty one. They're way too talented to be below five hundred. I don't understand what's going on there, but uh, that's where they're at. Twenty and twenty one with the ninth seed. Got the Cavaliers a bit. Further down, and the Pacers and the Wizards. These teams are all struggling. The Wizards feels like they they should start turning things around. The Heat, twelve thirty one. Alonzo Mourning trading him kind of signaled a uh, a losing season for them. The Heat are going to try to get a good lottery pick and try to turn things around. And also because they traded uh, Alonzo Mourning, they have a lot of cap space for uh, the next season. So. Miami Heat might make some moves. Miami Heat might make some moves, folks. What kind of moves? We'll see. But so that's that's what they're angling for. Something to keep an eye out on. Bobcats and Knicks, 10 and 32. Knicks are quite bad. Bobcats, they're the expansion team. And yet the Knicks are right there with them. So that's that's not a good sign. And uh, that, yeah, that's that's pretty much the East. Let's check out the West going into the All-Star break. Um, here we go. Trailblazers 36 and 9. They they held tight that first place spot. The Rockets are six games back, 30 and 15. Then you get the Grizzlies, the Wizards, uh, Warriors, I mean, the Timberwolves, the Clippers, the Jazz, the Lakers at an eight seed. The Lakers at 21 and 22 are an eight seed. That's that's kind of crazy. The Nuggets, LeBron in his second year, he's led the team to a 20 and 22 record. So the Nuggets are are on the outside looking in. Half game back from the Lakers, and uh, what else? What else is big news there? The Clippers being twenty-two and nineteen. Yeah, they they're they're definitely underwhelming, and they they won four straight. So at one point they were eighteen and nineteen. So the Clippers haven't been too great without Vlade Divac. He, he turns out turns out he was a unsung hero for them. Mavericks nineteen and twenty-five. Suns eighteen and twenty-five. Not as bad as they have been in the past few seasons, but. I am a bit disappointed with how their season has turned out so far. So, uh, hope maybe they could turn things around after the All Star break. But uh, I just want to see progress. You know, I know Dwight Howard's a rookie. You can't expect too much. Chris Bosh is only in the second year, right? So you can't expect too much with those guys. But uh, I feel like the Suns once they figure some, once they figure it out, I feel like the Suns are going to be a juggernaut. Uh, if they're able to build around Dwight Howard the right way. So Spurs, they're, I don't know what they're doing at this point. The Kings, they got mellow and they're trying to hope for a good lottery pick in the draft. And you get the Hornets way down there. I know that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on with the Hornets, but that's it. That's the West going into the all-star break. Uh, nice to see the Grizzlies have had a nice decade. The Grizzlies have been solid all decade. It's kind of fun to see. That play out, but the Blazers being the one seed, haven't seen much of the Blazers. I don't think we see the Blazers. I can't talk. 
I haven't seen the Blazers uh, much this season. We'll see them in the next episode for sure, I would think. Uh, the next episode after the All-Star break. Trace McGrady leading the league in points, 34.1. You can see Reggie Miller and Jason Kidd's uh, points total are going down. They're finally coming coming down to earth. But Trace McGrady is holding steady at 34.1. You got Mello in the top five. Dirk, two. Tim Duncan. Marbury. Shaq. Kobe. The Trail Sprewell. And the Pistons, who we haven't seen much of. I hope that, that changes in the, in, in the in two episodes from now. And then you got Stackhouse, Carmageddi, Sam Cassell. Rebounding list. Shaq now is leading the league in rebounds with 14. So Shaq's having a crazy season. He won the MVP last season, right? And he feels like an MVP candidate again for this season. And uh, I don't know if we see MVP candidates in, in this uh, in this video. I think we do, actually. But uh, it's an interesting list. Jason Kidd leading the league in assists. Remember Steve Nash? Wasn't Steve Nash? Was Steve Nash leading it? No, I think it was Jason Kidd with 12 assists per game, right? After at January 1st. I think I think that's what it was. Uh, here's the 05 draft class. Chris Paul, Deron Williams, Andrew Bynum, Danny Granger. Definitely some, definitely some interesting players. Raymond Felton down there. Gerald Green. Yeah, there's some definitely there's definitely some interesting players in this list for sure. Um, obviously, Chris Ball is going to be the biggest prize, but don't sleep on Deron Williams, right? He was a he was a fun player for for a number of seasons. Danny Granger was a was a great player until he got hurt, so it'll be fun to see his career play out. Andrew Bynum too. Andrew Bynum's another guy who you know in this sim, he might have a nice long career. David Lee. Oh, the round two is interesting. Nate Robinson, Charlie Villanueva. Monte Ellis. Look where Monte Ellis is. He's like at the bottom of round two. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be kind of a wild draft. I'm, I'm looking forward uh, to, for you guys to see just how it unfolds. Because there's there's some there are definitely some diamonds in the rough. Round two, uh, depending on where some of those guys go, I think it could be very interesting to, to watch unfold. So yeah, that's that's the draft class. Hey, here's the MVP race. Trace McGrady. Right? Makes sense. 34 points per game, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, almost 2 steals per game, a block per game. He And the Rockets are pretty good. They're 2 seed right now. So, yeah, it makes sense for him to be up there. Jason Kidd, of course, have an MVP-like season. Uh, Kevin Garnett, Shaq at 4, which is surprising. But you look at who's above him, and you can't really be too shocked. Then you got Tim Duncan running at the top 5. But, uh, yeah, Jason, Jason Kidd. Putting up just crazy numbers, but I think Trace McGrady averaging 34 points per game and the Rockets having a two seed, I think that could really give him the edge right now. J.R. Smith, though, is number one rookie of the year candidate. Could he? Can he win it over Dwight Howard? I think he can. I think he could do this. I have faith in him. Devin Harris, Josh Smith, William Avery. Uh, move aside because. <laughs> I want J. I, I would love for J. S. Smith. It's, it's just, it's kind of fun, you know. Right? It's just fun to imagine him winning that over Dwight Howard. Uh, no disrespect to Dwight Howard, uh, especially in his heyday, he was a monster. That's the episode, though. Thank you for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. All Star Break 2005. I participate again. You know who else is in the the slam dunk contest? By the way, LeBron James. LeBron James is in the slam dunk contest. That's all I have to say.